welcome to the channel i just got this sad news from my friend and i want to use this opportunity to everyone that is going to watch this video please if you buy a car or a bike before you start riding the, the bike or driving the car on the road please and please please kindly do this for god's sake do this for your own safety do this for the safetyness of your property either your car or your bike hi everyone welcome to our channel if today is your first day of stopping by you are most welcome if you're a return subscriber thank you so much for constant love and support on the channel i really appreciate it and may god continue to bless you guys so much for me for those that are new on this channel i share beauty tips once in a while and spiritual tips i upload on daily basis these spiritual tips can help us to grow spiritually help us to cleanse our aura and also help us be able to attract a lot of good things in our lives using natural things from the comfort of our home okay so if there's something you are interested in don't hesitate to hit on the red subscription button below and turn on your bell notification so that each time there is an upload coming from me you are going to be the first to get notification to watch our video without taking much time please let me tell you exactly what happened okay so like i said before you start driving a new car either second hand or it's terrible <laughs> terrible for my african people i hope you you guys understand what i mean by terrible okay that's brand new car that no one has used before that is terrible so either a brand new car or is it second hand that someone has used before or a bike a normal bike that uses petrol or sport bike any bike anything you know i'm not talking about bicycle that kids use to play around your bike that uses petrol or the one that you charge chargeable on. yes those ones where you be moving from one place to another to ease your movement please do this recipe or oh, do this you know if you grew up with um, a family that has cars or bike or if you are very vigilant you notice that when someone buys a car there are certain things they do before they start driving that car or riding that bike they don't do those things for fun they don't do it because they have it much they do it because it is tradition they do it because it is necessary to do it when you buy a car you notice that if someone buys a car they are going to pour a drink on it have you ever for once asked yourself why do people buy cars and they pour a drink on it and on the other hand they also pray over it not everyone is happy with your progress yes that is the first one not everyone is happy saying hey hey congratulations oh now we have a car oh now you have a car yes it's just by the mouth that they are saying that congratulations but deep down in there they are angry why should you be in this position when i'm not yet there why should you be higher or be ahead of me why are you more than me because of those negative things they tend to affect you when you pour car when you pour wine or drink on your car the first thing is that you are pouring liberation yeah you're appreciating your ancestors this is not something that is new africans you guys will know this that when you buy a car you see you call your friends your family member you give drink they, they drink they pray over it they pour down drink on top of it as they are pouring whosoever is pouring it is saying a word of prayer that ain't no evil eye will come before this car as you are pouring that drink you're pouring it for your ancestors for the gods for the spirit that as wherever the car will be going you come back safely with it wherever you use a car and go you come back safely because that car will be using be carrying people from one place to another once you pour that dream on it you're pouring vibration on your ancestors 
to guide you anywhere you go, to guide the people that they can be carrying. When you don't do this, believe me, you are prone to always meet with accident. You are prone to always receive a thief attack. People always broke into your car. It's either to collect money from you or to seize that car from you. You realize that you always meet with you. Your car will always go and stop at a certain point. And you realize that there is nothing actually wrong with that car. The same thing goes with the bike. When you're pouring that drink, you pour it on your bike. When you buy a new bike, old bike, as long as it's this something that will be transporting yourself. Believe me, you need to say a word of prayer. Pour drink on it. Pouring drink is the most important. Once you pour drink, like I said, you are pouring liberation on that car. You are pouring liberation that your ancestors, your spirit guide should guide you. As you are pouring the drink, are you not praying? I be you are praying. You are praying and saying word of protection over it. I just received a terrible news. One of my friends got a car and he met with an accident. And when I asked him, did you do this? Did you pour any drink on it? Did you even say a word of prayer on this car before you start driving it? And he said no. He normally see people do this, but he never knew what it meant. And I believe a lot of people see others doing this, see others pouring drinks on car, and they believe it's just something fetish is just something is witchcraft or they don't, they don't know what they are doing but believe me as africans we will always be africans we will always want to live according to how our ancestors used to live when it comes to certain things it's the same as when you're doing your traditional wedding as africans they put drink in a cup you cover it you dance around and you go and give to your husband that is traditional wedding we are not the same as the white people on the other hand when the white people when they when they buy cars they don't pour drink but they say a word of prayer or they, or they also do certain things depending on how the tradition is okay they do a lot of other things and if you are African, you have to do this. Pour drink on a car that you buy. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you are in America, you are in Canada. Once you buy your car, pour drink on it. Pray over it before you start driving that car. Pray over it and cover your car with the blood. Cover your car with the Holy Spirit. Cover your car with whatever thing you believe in. Once you do that, you are safe. You are safe from accident, you are safe from theft, you are safe from a lot of things. You are safe and your property or your car is also safe. It's the same as when you are building a house. After the foundation has been completed, they always go about here in Africa. They always go about and they give food for those that completed the foundation of the house before they start building it that is our own african tradition it's not something that is new our forefathers used to do that and we as a new generation we keep on doing that we are not doing it because we have a lot we are doing it following tradition it's the same as traditional wedding when you are building a story building after they have built the first uh, floor as they are taking the topper part of the house when they are done taking it before they put the second floor up you give food for those that are doing it it is not because the person building the house has so much they are just following tradition it's the same as you are building your house after you are done zinking or putting the roof you give food it's normal it is tradition when you buy a car or a bike pour drink on it for your liberation for your forefathers your spirit guide to watch over you to protect you as you are in that car 
this is so much important okay <sighs> i am so heartbroken but it is well thank god it is only the car that got bad thank god for life thank you so much for watching the video up to this level until i come your way stay blessed